Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Thank you for joining me. Guys, I'm back. <laughs> it's been a while. I know, I know it's been a while. All right. Little update on me and the family. Listen, if you haven't known, I don't know if I posted it on any of the social media, but me and the family end up getting that the virus. The whole family pretty much put us on our butt for the past month and a half. So it took me out of circulation for a while. So, but I'm back. Got another how-to video for my Super Duty fans out there. Guys, if you've been following my channel, you know I bought a 2020 Ford Trummer. Absolutely love the truck. Been doing a lot of updates. Check out the playlist listed below and all the aftermarket parts I put on my truck since owning it. All right, it'll all be all listed below. Hit those, uh, those links. They will be affiliate. It does support this channel. And I greatly appreciate it. Now, speaking of supporting this channel, based on your guys supporting my channel, I was able to now take it to the next level. Uh, as you know, I had the XLT model of the Super Duty Chema. Now, with those, and we're talking about particularly the headlights, those are dealing with only halogen lights, all right? So, I'm going to the next level, guys. I'm going to LEDs, all right? I end up taking advantage of the Moto, Moto Auto, Moto Auto, Moto, Moto something. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, headlights. I ordered them doing, actually, I got them around the Thanksgiving holiday for the Black Friday. Took advantage of serious discount. Bought them on my own based on your guys' support in my channel. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to update it. I'm going to show you how to. We're going to do eye candy. You know how to close up of the. The materials or the parts then I take you out to my truck and show you how it install it all right and that's pretty much it so thank you for joining me enough of me talking let's go okay guys now this is how it comes label box again moto 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 LED headlights. Again, what I like about these guys is plug and play. That's all. Take out the old one, plug it in, install it, and you're done. All right, no modification, what have you. So that's why I end up going with this. Especially, I guess, picking this up. I up, again, I got it during the Black Friday holiday season. So I was pretty much, if you bought the headlights and you added this to your package, they pretty much give it to you for free, all right? Um, the same price as everything. So I ended up getting the whole kit. Initially, I wasn't gonna do that, but I just couldn't resist the the price, all right? So I took advantage of it. And again, this is strictly for those F250s, 350s that has the halogen lights, all right? You're replacing these with the LA. LEDs version. So this is how it looks. It comes well packed. The little clips and what we have here. We got the instruction manual. Most of this you have to have internet service to get your your instructions. So what I'll do, I'll probably do some screenshots of the instruction manual for you guys. So if you end up picking up this, we go step by step on how to get it done. All right. So let's uh, just open it up real quick. It's not going to be too long with the unboxing. Again, when I ended up getting that uh, COVID, I've been dodging it for a year and a half. They finally caught me. Again, not too bad. More of a flu type of thing, so I was able to recover. Glad uh, I was able to get past it. All right, again, this is just quick eye candy for you guys out there, for you who's doing research like I was. I've been looking at it for a while for all different brands or what have you and I you know my model guys I'm pretty much finding quality parts at an inexpensive price um, do not buy cheap product at a cheap price because what you end up getting is cheap so Moto Moto, Moto, Moto pretty much has a good following a good reputation and I decided to go with them all right, so here it is, and it's pretty sure uh, you know it is what it is. All right, this supposed to plug and play fits exactly into the location. All right, and now these come in two models. You can get them in yellow, 
uh, fog lights and are just white. I decided to go with the white because if you've been following my channel, I end up installing some pillar lights that's already yellow. So check out that video if you haven't for the cover the snow area. I wanted something more for the fog, what have you. So I like, I end up picking up these for the white for the fog lights. All right. And that's pretty much it. Just want to give you guys a quick glimpse of it. Eye candy, look like it's well made. All right. And to my understanding, you definitely have to be using this to replace it. So that's it, guys. All right. Not too much. What you see is what you get. Uh, we're going to go out. And I'm just trying to see, does they mark? Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, identify which side is what. Right here, I don't know if you can see. It says LH for left-hand side. And this is the right-hand side. All right? So pretty much like that, I'm, I'm assuming. All right? I'll go on up. So that's it. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download the directions. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go out to the truck and get installed. So let's go. All right, guys, I'm out in the, outside in the truck. Now, thank God this weather's finally let up, all right? As you know, up here in the north, we got hit with a nor'easter. The temperatures have been horrible. And be now, I don't have an inside garage. And I'm so jealous for you guys who do have inside garage that you could work on your truck. Um, I don't have that luxury, so when I do my videos, it's pretty much in my driveway in the elements. So right now it's about 50 degrees, nice and warm. So I'm not going to freeze my nuts off. <laughs> so we're out, out here now about to get started. Now, again, we're just going to be doing the fog lights today because those are much easier to do, quicker to do. And then now the next video will actually put the headlights in. All right. So what you're going to have to do, guys, of course, start one one at a time so we're going to start on the passenger side as you see already i got my wheel turned out i'm not taking my wheels off i'm pretty much going to work as is now i'm gonna see if i can show it to you guys all right i hope you can see this um, i'm gonna try not i've got a high sun here so i don't want to blow out any highlights all right so right here we're gonna have to start here removing this plate so let me get my twos um and find out exactly what you're gonna need now I'm working on a 2020 super duty so we're gonna remove this plate here and now allow us to get to, to the fog lights so let, let me get my tools and we'll just keep it moving again I'm starting on the passenger side now what you're gonna need to start this off guys the Moody's four bolts you're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket all right and I'm gonna be using my trusty Milwaukee tool here what kind of tool is this ratchet all right 3 8 ratchet love this little thing again guys you're into the Milwaukee system when those sales happen at Home Depot I gotta put a link of this one it's well worth it saves a lot of time so what we're gonna do we're just gonna simply move these four bolts One more. Okay. We'll put that to the side, and as you can see, we have our passenger side um, fog lights. All right. So. <clears throat> That's step one, just removing that. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, when I'm gonna, I'm gonna readjust this angle of this camera because I'm make sure I want to make sure I'm getting it, getting this for you. So just stand by. Okay, guys, I'm underneath the truck now, and we're looking at the passenger side. All right, and sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get as much light on this as possible. Now, what we're gonna do. You're just simply gonna unplug it first. All right, let's push it to the side. All right. And now, we're gonna have to remove this little pin here. All right, so get your little screwdriver, 
We're gonna back this out to remove this. Once this is removed, there's two side pins that we're gonna attack it from the front. Uh, it's sandwiched between the two holders, so you're gonna ha have some um, panel remover tools to slide this out that direction, all right? So, let me get my screwdriver so I can remove this and we'll take it up, show you how I'm doing it and then we'll take it to the front, all right? So stand by. Okay. All right, guys, I'm, I'm a little angle with the fill up. All right, because this, this is really a tight spot right here. Now, unless you have a small screwdriver, you can unscrew it, but I, I'd rather use it like this. It goes much quicker, all right? And remember, you gotta take out this little screw, don't, I mean spring, so don't lose that. Oh, we have to reuse it. All right, so this is unplugged, the screw's removed. Now we have to go on the opposite side. Okay, guys. Let me give you a tip, all right, because I, I was struggling trying to get this, this light out, all right. It's a really a pain in the butt trying to put the two things, panel removers between this housing and trying to slip it out. So what I ended up doing, I accidentally do, did, and I'm glad, it, I'm glad it happened, you can remove this whole piece here, all right. It comes right off, as I as you notice. It just held in by clip tabs from here, 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 and here. So you can use your pry tool, take this, take this housing off. So now it gives you a better, more real estate to work with this. All right, and let me see if I can show you guys a little closer what I'm talking about. All right, you see how much room I have now. Now I'm able to use my pry tool to, from here, to push this back and push this back and get this light out. So I just want to give that tip to you. All right, you can remove this, which I'm gonna do on the other side. So let me continue on and getting this installed. All right. Okay, as I was saying, before you install your light, you need to find out which pin goes to where, all right, in relation to this. All right, so when you bring your connector you want to make sure it goes in that way it'll lock on so you got to figure out which pin goes to what hole so before i do that i'm gonna uh, turn my lights on and pretty much take my pins put them inside the connector to see which way it lights up and once i get that configuration down then i'll just push it into this connector all right so let me get that done. Okay guys, I got my headlights on. All right, so all I'm gonna do now, I just take this connector and see if I can figure out which side is what. So I'm gonna push that in here. And we'll push this one in here. And do I have power? No. All right, so it's the other way. So turn this around, push that there. And there you go, I got power there. Okay, so I got the right configuration. I'm just gonna hold that correctly, all right? Then I'm gonna take this here and it goes that direction. All right, so I got that in here. Okay, guys, there it goes. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna test it before I install it. There it goes, okay. Now that's in there. And now it's just simply reversing the process. All right. Oh, before I do that, guys, make sure you have to take off this little plastic piece because you're gonna have to use it. Okay. And that goes into here. Okay, just like that. 
and now we're just going to fish this in. And that's it guys, it's in. All right, so I just have to now put that spring back in and button it up. Okay guys, as you can see, I got it in now. And so all you have to do now is you're gonna take this pin, slip it right back into this location here. You're probably gonna have to compress it a little bit. All right. Slip it through like this. All right. I'm just gonna retighten it. All right. Take my little tool here and just get it started. Now I'm gonna have to wait till nightfall go to my local park to try to adjust it so And that's it and we're done all right so all I have to do now is put that plate back up here but I'm not gonna do that until tonight later or well, tomorrow what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it exposed so I can adjust, have access to this adjustment here for the screw so I can adjust it all right and once it's adjusted then I'll put the plate on all right guys so as you can see I got it in now I got the screw in now again tonight i'm gonna have to take this to my local park where it's dark so i can turn the fog lights on so i can adjust it so i'm not gonna put that plate on until then but again taking this off here is much easier than taking this out opposed to trying to force your pry tool so again it just held by push tabs the best bet is to take it from the top and pull this away for the separators. Again, you just want to make sure you're not snapping any of these these parts here. And that's pretty much it. All right. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna reconnect this. As you can see, going back on, and we're just gonna pop it in. There you go. Done. Okay, guys. Again, same thing we're gonna do here. Now, to get, take this off, just have one of these pry tools. You're gonna get behind it. All right. And you're just gonna take your time. Oop. <clears throat> Pops right off. All right. Again, one, two, three, four. Pop it off. You have all the room now to get into your, get to your fog lights. All right. So. Much easier, better tip, do this first before you do anything, all right? Just get it off. Now, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go on the opposite side again. I'm gonna turn the wheel that away, unplug it, unscrew it, pop the lights out, and we're, we're done, and pop it back in. Okay, guys, as, again, unplug the light, take out the screw and the spring, put it to the side, you're gonna need it again. And again, having this off, I'm gonna keep on saying, it's the much easiest way to, to get take this off. And now, what you're gonna do, again, take your pry tool. And all you're doing is gonna pry this out. Takes a little bit, a little bit, there you go. Popped it out there. Take the other one, come on this side. Do the same thing, pop right out. Much, much easier without the front on. All right, and again, we're gonna remove this part here. Okay, again, got the driver's side out. The driver's side is 
left hand side on LED lights. All right, so it's LH, it's for the driver's side. All right, and as you can see, they match up. All right, so just like before, we're gonna take the little plastic piece that you need again. You're gonna push it in from the bottom. All right, take a little pry tool and just push it in. All right, like that. Okay, now again, before we uh, push it in, we gotta make sure, find out which way the connectors go in. And again, just like before, I'm gonna turn the lights on. I'm just gonna put the pins into the plug and if the light come on, I know which way it goes as far as the housing. Oops. Sorry, got it upside down. No wonder. I'm like, what the heck? Sorry, I had it going upside down. So, and make sure you don't install yours upside down. The Moto, Moto, Moto logo is right side up. I was wondering what the heck, why that wasn't going in properly. That stopped in there. I stopped in there. There you go. Okay. And that's it. It's in. All right. So I'm just going to put the screws back in here. And then I come back and put down, put the face plate back on. And again, I'm not going to put the backing on until later on tonight because I need to adjust this. All right. Okay, guys. Got it in. Got it screwed in. Again, face plate comes off very easy for tabs. I know I repeat myself, but again, again, I want guys to understand who's doing it by themselves. You got the little tab here that's going to fit it right into there. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right, once this, this gets on, you're done. Just line it up. Popped in. Done. All right. And that'll be it for now, guys. What I'm going to do now is uh, wait for nightfall. I'm going to adjust the fog lights. And then we'll just pick it up tonight once it's all adjusted and take a look at it. All right. Again, please consider like, subscribe, and we'll just keep it moving. All right, guys. You can see it's nightfall now, and I'm adjusting it. So when you adjust it, you'll definitely see a nice crisp beam. Just line up the two fog lights together and give you that one solid line. Now, what I'm doing as far as adjustment, and I, let's see if I can explain. As you can see that line going straight out. All right, I'm just, it's pretty much just, I'm sitting just right above my hood is being portrayed out. So I, I'm thinking that's a good look, but I'm gonna do my back up and look down the street to see how it looks. All right, cause I don't have any type of measuring tool to figure this out. So it's pretty much what looks good to me. And of course, I don't want to blind anyone when I'm driving toward them. So, so, so you just got to figure out how you're going to do that. All right. So let me back this up um, and we'll see how it looks. All right. Stand by. Okay. And as you can see, my adjustment, I don't know if y'all can see, it's like right, my line is right there where it begins and going out. So I think that's a good look. I, if I turn on my high, my high beams, my regular lights. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good look. All right, what do you think? You tell me, guys. Should I point it down more? All right. All right, so that's, that's pretty much it. So now I'm just going to put my cover back on. Excuse me, guys, I'm trying to back this up put my cover back on and that's a wrap so stand by for part two when i install the headlights all right again waiting for some good weather to get this installed please consider like subscribe and guys i'll check you on the next one later all right guys just want to give you a good look at the, the fog lights a lot better than the other stuff all right. My 
much better. Much better, much better, much better. All right, so stay tuned when I change the top one. All right.